My brain, yes, that's my name. When you hear the name, Ben, I guarantee the pain. I'm coming after you, Bruce White. I'm stronger, smarter, clinically insane. My brain, that's my name. Bruce Wayne is a Batman, I'm totally the same. I broke his back, Ronald Combat Spark. Then I cracked my 28 Krug champagne. Who likes hip hop? To identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you just spend the evening here. They'll put <laughs> innocence in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. Sack of you. I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. The Batwing is prepped and ready to take you to Jezebel Plaza, sir. So I've unlocked a challenge or a, a combat. So there's a bat suit chamber. Oh, it has no more Batmans. I'll have to. Uh, and costumes are available for use in if challenge mode. And can be used in the campaign or new game plus once the story is complete. That's a shame. This is cool that they finally added um, like a hub. In Arkham uh, Asylum and Arkham City, your your pause menu is basically your hub. You just pause so the game. Hurry if you're on oh, Alfred, shush. And uh, basically, you uh, you pause the game, and that's your your hub. Everything's there. Whereas this kind of feels a bit more centralized, more like payday, like uh, Batman's hideout. Oh wow, this really is just like a hub. It's basically just uh, Predator maps and stuff like that. So I, I as I said, I, I already tried this out earlier and it gets increasingly more and more hard. Uh, the more you play. You're all going down. Just to prove I ain't no scrub. Oh, you masked bastard. Did I say masked? I meant armored. Oh, what? If it's why? Come on, son. So my cousin was here earlier, and uh, he was he was trying trying this out, and he 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 was okay, he did, he did all right, but he couldn't figure out the whole uh, the timing. He was just hitting the bones. And basically, if you've never played Batman before, it's kind of like a dancing game. It's kind of like, but um, well, the way that I see it, basically, I've played all the Batman, Ar the Arkham games. Um, since 2010, I actually had my first red ring on my Xbox 360 whilst playing Arkham Asylum because I played it so much. And uh, when it was announced in 2009, I just shrugged it off because Batman games are not supposed to be good. They're supposed to be terrible. But um, Batman Arkham Asylum it was lent to me by a teacher at the time. And uh, 
I really enjoyed it. It was really good. Um, for some reason, they released several versions of the first game, and I played pretty much all of them. The Game of the Year editions on the PlayStation, uh, sorry, the Xbox, and uh, the PC, um, countless times. On, a, on an old Xbox account that I used to use, and uh, that's many people ask me why I had four of the exact same Batman game on my uh, gamer card. But yeah, that was basically because I played this game so much, and uh, well, Arkham Asylum so much, and really enjoyed it. Um, the game rocks, really good. Uh, I recently, my last playthrough of it was probably about three months ago. And my fastest time finishing it, uh, that would be my sixth time finishing the game. My fastest time finishing it was probably around 14 hours. And that's because I literally just know where everything is. I know how to solve all the puzzles. And although that's, that's uh, it's kind of sad, but it's... Um, basically, I kind of feel like we all have our own game that we master as a... As somebody that's a gamer, I kind of feel like we all, we all master a game, you know? Like, I master Resident Evil games, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3. And now Batman Arkham Asylum. So, it's funny, uh, one of my best friends actually has uh, the Batman Arkham Asylum logo tattooed on his wrist because his cousin is a tattooist and he got it done. Uh, as you can see, I would normally just instantly kill those guys with a knife, but um, because this game it's right at the start I have absolutely no upgrades which means no awesome counters in terms of uh, you know finishing guys off very quickly uh, no weapon counters uh, there's normally a speed counter and stuff like that but anyway uh, on the PC version of this game uh, an Arkham Asylum sorry I actually was uh, one of the first in the world in terms of the combat um, and that's basically because when Arkham Asylum the Game of the Year version came out before everybody started using trainers and cheats um, you know I was quite good at it and I was actually like ninth in the world on uh, like probably like 90% of the combat maps that I played so Picking up this game, that's very, very easy for me just to jump straight back into it and know all the buttons. Especially as this kind of feels, you know, it's exactly the same. The only problem is that I am very um, out of shape, I guess, in terms of like mentally playing this game. Of course, there's going to be new enemies and stuff for me to fight, which I won't recognise. Or I, I won't know how to fight them. Um, earlier on today, when I gave this my first shot, I got to 55. And uh, there were some new enemies that kept spawning. And um, Oh, son of a bitch. I couldn't kill them, basically. I tried to assassinate them or tried to do the move where you break one of their bones. And uh, it just didn't happen. See how much longer I can. At this point, we're basically one hit and I'm dead now, so. Let's see if I can take out some of these shield wielding bastards and see, uh, see what happens. Oh, he's armoured. That's not good. Oh, come on, keep jumping. Ah, so you see this guy over here? This big red guy. I have absolutely no idea how to kill him. Good 
gonna have to forgive me for just jumping constantly with absolutely no help I pretty much um, there's just not much I can do at this point but uh, try and prolong my life ah see there you go look at that So after doing that little back and forth with him, I feel like I, the only way I can kill him is probably with a ground pound. Seeing as he uh, spent literally seconds on the ground, it wasn't good. Oh wow. Okay. Well, there we go. That's uh, 57. A pretty high combo. Oh, it's a real shame you're dead. You're actually worth more alive. <laughs> I love that little hand flick that he does as he uh, walks away from a, a beaten, a beaten foe. Uh, there's no point trying that because um, I'm just out of practice right now. Uh, there's a champ uh, campaign. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Combo multiplayer expert. Reach 15 times multiplayer. Oh, I ruined it. Ruined it for myself. Tea bag at the end. Go away and look new concept art. Oh, there you go. This is blade counter. Maybe this is how I unlock the uh, the blade counter. Let's, play. Let's do it. And there we go. I think that's it for the uh, the training montage of Batman. And uh, Deathstroke. Well, wow, faster. Make your travels easier. I went ahead and set up some auto nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. Man, this is. I am in Arkham, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's the exact same video they showed before.
Back in the game, baby. Can't stop the cold train. yourself to safety and call the police they'll want to see what's going on here okay i will this was just supposed to be a service call fix the tower in and out i'm out i need a new job where you go where that thing can get you i won't hesitate whoever you are come near me and i'll kill this guy i can i can fix the tower whatever you want just please don't hurt me all I want is for you to get yourself to safety. <laughs> he tries to sound so intimidating while saying something so nice. All I want is for you to be happy. Settle down. Find yourself a nice wife. Level up. More armor. I don't think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene. I should investigate this crime scene before going any further. No, it's my I bad. I didn't, I didn't mean, it mean to interrupt you. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And um, here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. What's curious? Mr. Baker's death, sir. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. Rewind or advance the crime scene reconstruction. Again, forgive the uh, cushion. This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels.
Contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data for my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Hey! Well, well, if it isn't the King's thug himself. Okay. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery, one you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. No for lie zone. Yep. Mm, black mask is not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? That's why I asked. With the jammer off line, I can travel here with the bat wing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. Ooh, this will be fun. I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. That's the plan. Then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. Yeah, there we go. If I don't get to Jezebel Plaza before that arms deal, I'll have no way to locate the penguin. Eagle. Grab the Oh yeah, I don't have the uh Oh no, I do have the grapple boot. This is cool. Like this, it's like a uh, Arkham City, but everything's not destroyed. I don't, I don't, what? Oh. Take this, union worker. How dare you ask for more money? of Jerick oh <laughs> this is a long bridge I should use my grapnel accelerator yeah I definitely haven't been doing that really Trust me, I'll take out those assassins before they even know I'm there. 
Whoops, wrong way. Oh, it's all Christmassy. Looks like I'm the first one here. I need to find a spot where I can stick this place out unnoticed. Penguin. Not a dime changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. These men are doing a deal here.